And hello again, Internet. Well, I actually wasn't really going to do some recording today because it's still really hot here. It's cooler than it had been lately, but it's hard for me to really do much of anything. I've been kind of not moving the past few days as much as possible with this bloody heat. But uh, I noticed that the game that I've been playing lately, the Sonic Ge Mega Drive and Genesis Classics Collection, got an update today to bring it in line with what's going to be released on the consoles. Now you'll note that I don't have the little uh, Humble Bundle icon today, and that's because they don't sell this bundle in one big pack, they still sell the ROMs individually. Now part of this new release was they cut the price of the big pack in half. So it's only $30 right now as opposed to the 60 Again, that's probably to bring it in line with what's coming out on the consoles. And, uh, yeah, I might probably pick that up. I'm pro I'm gonna try waiting to see if they drop the price during the summer sale, if it goes on sale then. And if it does, I almost guarantee you I'll be picking it up. Because, as stupid as I am, I keep buying the same Genesis games over and over and over and over and over. I do love the Genesis, and I like having them here on my PC. And I remember when this emulator that they were selling on Steam was just this really nice basic shell of an emulator. Then they added the room and, well, they've added more features now over here. You see there's extras, there's online multiplayer. So if you have multiple, if you want to play online with some friends, you can do that. Up to two players, multiplayer that way. I'm pretty sure you can't get more than two players on the Genesis as it is. Like, we can check out the extras. There are achievements now depending on which games you have, you know, multiple games, multiple games, multiple games, the Golden Axe Collection, Sonic Collection. Now, it's not that many achievements. I guess this is just the ones that I have actual access to. Yeah, this is just the one I have access to, so, because there's a lot of games that I don't have on the list yet. There's the challenges, which are kind of like achievements also. Which, you know, you can do this and try to beat the zone in mirror mode in under a minute. That's right, they have mirror mode now. Some other features, again, online multiplayer, you got the credits. They've apparently added a few more filters to this, which we'll take a look at. Another nice thing they added, you see they got the favorite button now. I can do that and put games before that little dice block there. So if there's one that I play a lot more than these others, I can just go ahead and toss it up there. And you see some of these games have extras, like this one has the challenge here. Or they can have achievements. Another thing that they added, and so far I only have one game that does it, Region. I can play the version that's, you know, my version, the US version of it. Or I can play the Japanese version. Now, unfortunately, the only one I have that has that is Streets of Rage 2, and I don't know which others have it. Uh, another thing I'm probably going to be buying this for is I actually still do really want to play the Fantasy Star games. I want to play them in order, though, and of course, the original is only on the Mega, is the Master System. I have copies of it, thanks to like the, the Sega Ultimate Collection, but... This is only going to have 2, 3, and 4, which I, you know, I, I do want. I want to play. And that's actually one of the things I'm kind of sad about here. Like, the Genesis, they're the same uh, words, because there's so many of these that have been released. It's hard to tell them apart. But the Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection is one of my favorites because it included not just the Genesis games. There are some really good Master System games, and there are some arcade games on there. Also, if you buy this pack on PC, you don't get, when you do it on consoles, you don't get Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And you don't get Sega, or Sonic CD. Both of those are included in the PC version. PC Master Race! Also, the workshop with the mods that lets me play... Well, oh no! They're gone! They're gone! I have to re-download my mods, apparently. Well, then. I was going to say it lets me do things like play the director's cut, except it's not here anymore! So, yeah, I think those have to be redone. 
So my Sonic 3 and, so and Sonic and Knuckles individually, they're gone. S Knuckles and Sonic 2 is gone. Blue Sphere was over here. It's gone. Yeah, well. So, yeah, but it has the workshop. I'll have to go back and re-download those mods because, hell yeah. At any rate, I've got more... Okay, the room actually looks a little bit better, too. It's brighter. It used to be really dark for some dumb reason. But now it's at least brighter up. I think the... Okay, well, there we go, because I don't think I have Revenge of Shinobi over here. I was going to say these titles are based on which ones I actually have, but... No, no, there it is. Return of the Ninja Master. All right. Shinobi 3. So let's go ahead and try some of these other games out for a little bit. I mean, Echo the Dolphin is a lot of fun. I'm not particularly good at it. I, I When I was younger, I did manage to beat it. Mostly with a guide. Let's be honest here. Like I said, it's hot. I need to take a drink fairly frequently right now. Especially while the ice is not melted yet. Um, unfortunately, Altered Beast here doesn't have any challenges associated with it, but... I want to give it a shot. Let's go check out the TV, but let's let's... Let's check some settings. Emulator settings. New filters, TV projection, get a curved look. I don't really... Oh yeah, this is fun. We can disable the sprite limit. So we can actually have more on it than before. We can change the border artwork. <laughs> I like that. It's got one for the other games. We're going to keep it at the nice basic... I like the grid look for it. Alright, so there's the emulator settings. I guess this doesn't really have much. Let's go ahead and play a little bit of this. I'm going to show some of the games. Again, there are a lot more games that I don't have, and one of the reasons I'm not just going to straight up buy the ones that I don't have is the pack does not give you a discount for the games that you own. Can I jump? I loved this in arcades. And, you know, the Genesis version is not as good as the arcade version. Graphics just aren't there. And the graphics are one of the main things for this game. And that's another reason I like the Ultimate Collection. Because the Ultimate Collection actually does have the arcade version on it. And one of the achievements for the arcade version, or for the Ultimate version here, is getting a certain number of points in the game, which to do that, you basically have to do this. Now I'm in wolf form immediately. So, oh. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. You basically just have to beat this guy after getting them all right away. That failed. No, go the other way. Thank you. Gonna get him, 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 gonna get him! There you go, there you go. There's the 100,000 points that you need. Hey, a tear! Now I jump into that, or no, I guess I don't jump into it yet. And he takes them all away. No! Now I'm a weak little... And my clothes are back. The clothes that got ripped right away, they're back. Of course. But yeah, I'm glad this is... Oh, another thing that's been updated. Not just the fact that it has online multiplayer, which is awesome. I love the way that looks when you kick it in the face. But, um... It's got VR support now. They actually added that. See there, the clothes rip. Get off my head. And dead. No. No snake. Power up. Oh, missed the head. Hey, that guy looks familiar down here, doesn't he? Ow, he's kicking the shit out of me, though. Oh, no. I don't get the quick one this time. 
No! Now we'll go through, try to get some of the achie- Oh, no, see? It's like, you are not ready! I'm not. So he runs off, so I can go through a p more part of the stage. Oh god, this thing kicks my ass! Go away! Go away! Look at this! And game over. So, yeah. If I had the arcade version, I could just pop another quarter in and go. But that game's really hard on Genesis. Mm. Again, my apologies. I'm going to be reaching for the drink fairly frequently while it's here. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find one that has the X. Oops, no, wrong button. The extras on it that I might actually have a chance of getting. Gain ground. I don't think I've even played this game yet. Fly, you fools! No, let's let's extras. Collect all six. Yeah, no. Finish Emerald Healed Zone with five lives. Well, let's try that. Let's see if we can finish Emerald Hill Hill Zone with five lives. Ah, uh, yeah. Miles, Tails, Prower. Oh my god, what game is this? So we haven't seen this one before. So I just need to gain two lives here. And not die. With any luck, Tails will quit being dumb. Oh my god, I'm playing Sonic again. What a surprise. Thought I said we were done with these games. Okay, fuck you, Monkey Man. Go away. I don't know what I'm doing, or why. No. As I crawl ever so slowly back. I think this is the challenge I have the best chance at getting. If I just take my time, get a couple extra lives, and go. Boing. All right, let's see what we got in here. This will give me some extra life. Oh, oh, oh! Right, this is how you get the chaos emeralds. I thought it was a ring at the end of the stage. No, that was the other game that had that. See, I'm already mixing my Sonic games up. And for those wondering, I'm not sure what my next Sonic game is going to be. I've got some options. I'm thinking right now it's going to be one of the Game Gear ones. I could just run Sonic 4 instead also. I mean... There are options. So, let's see what happens here. I was honestly not expecting the special stage here. No rings to go! Whee! I got an emerald! No continue? Aw, oh, you fail. Ah, my rings are gone! Cheap. So cheap. Maybe I won't be able to get it now. Whoa, whoops. Ah! 
Oh, lame. I don't want to go. Oh my god, that came out of nowhere. I just kind of want to see what happens if I get one of these challenges, achievements. If it unlocks anything extra. Although I have less of a chance of getting this one now because I've been fucking it up. Oh no! God damn it! Tails, quit being stupid. Same can be said for you, Sonic. There's, there we go. A little bit of protection now, at least. Hey, Sawsmith! Oh, the Doctor Who marathon starting soon, yeah. That could be fun. Yeah, I'm just kind of checking out this new version. It's got VR support now, too. which So that's another VR game added to my Steam list. I'm not entirely sure about VR myself. I mean, I'm a sucker for fad stuff like that. But I don't have the VR yet. I would get it, but, you know, expensive. Let's say, though, I am a sucker for fad things like this. I would be all over it normally. Come on, I just need 16 more without getting hit. Okay, I can get up there somehow. If I can figure out how to get up there. Or there. Okay, so that's one extra life. But I still need to find another one somewhere. Oh well. I don't think I needed it on this stage. I think I need it on the next one. Because it doesn't say Emerald Hill Zone 1. It just says Emerald Hill Zone. That's Act 1, so... As long as I can do this without... Ah. I'm not sure about how cautious I need to be. Well, I mean, I need to be somewhat cautious. I need to get shield if I can. But I think there's places with an actual one-up in here. Because I was that's why I was checking the top of those loops when I could. To see if there was one up there. Because memory serves me, there is. Also, if I just managed to get 100 rings, then I wouldn't matter too much. Alright, now let's go back. That's not quite what I wanted. Does this have it on it? No. No, God, no. Do not want that. Yeah, no. That was Tails getting hit, I heard. Nope. Didn't make it high enough there. Okay. No, I can't make it there, so... Gotta be careful through these spikes. That worked. Fortunately. Uh, 500 rings to rule them all? Okay, I guess I just got something. No! Let me through that! Bastard! Yes, that comes out in the other way. 
No! Oh, man, that was close. That was too damn close. There. Now I can relax and look for nine rings quickly. I just need nine rings. I just need nine. There we go. There we go. Alright, now I just gotta beat this thing. Oh, it's the hardest boss in all of Sonic. Look at this, he just goes back and forth. So that's five lives. Did I complete the challenge? We shall find out soon. Extra hedgehogs! I completed the challenge. Might as well go ahead and make a save here. Actually, no. No, no reason to save. We're done. Okay, so what did that do for me now that I've completed that challenge? Did it open an extra? No, it just has a check mark there. And a check mark there. Alright. Leaderboards. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog rings. Okay, so now we know how many rings people are collecting. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 rings. What do we got here? I am 19th on the leaderboard! Yeah, that's gonna last. That's really gonna last. I don't even know how I got 500. I mean... Serious. It counted the ones inside the secret zone! Let's find out. Extras. Nope, same thing. It just it just has it. So the extras appears to basically just be that achievement thing. Nothing wrong with that, honestly. And I, there's some games that, of course, don't have the extras. Like Echo here doesn't. And Altered Beast doesn't. I guess one's extra... Health bar is looking low. Win the Kung Fu Tournament. Get your skates on. Finish act. Finish stage 1, act 3 with at least minute 50 on the clock. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Starting in the middle of a game, get a score of at least 4,000. So let's check some of these other games. I mean, we've got the Golden Axe games here. We've got Gunstar Heroes. That's a fun one. Just leaderboard for that. Um, let's let's see what the Streets of Rage looks like with the Japanese ROM. Um. Um. That's weird. Now, of course, you guys are getting just absolutely nothing on your screen. This has got to be destroying the encryption. In fact, I'm looking over here at my at my, uh, uh, <laughs> at my OBS, and it's just going, nope! But yeah, that was... <laughs> I need to blow in the cartridge. Maybe. Streets of Rage 2. I load it up. It's like, okay, Streets of Rage 2 works. But, what happened with this? Streets of Rage 2 Japan. No, it gives me nothing. Why am I getting nothing?
why am I getting nothing? Do I have to actually buy that rant that ROM? Again? I'm checking Steam right now. I'm gonna see if anyone's on the forums mentioning this yet. That yet yeah, mods are gone. Other reason versions not working. Let's see what they say. They're investigating. Okay. So yeah, they they didn't patch properly. This patch did just come out today. And um, by the looks of it, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> well, damn. I wanted to show... I wanted to see that. I really did. But it looks like they did something that's probably looking for the wrong file name. Like, yeah, you know, that never happens. Or maybe they even forgot to actually download the ROM. Yep, that could be. It could be that... You only get the Japanese ROM if you've downloaded the entire thing and they didn't bother to check. Well, what if you only have the game itself? That's another thing that's possible that happened. So, these are just possibilities. But yeah, there we go. The Japanese version does not work. Alright. So, let's see what other games are available. We've got... Well, let's go ahead and throw in Golden Axe. That's a classic. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so far, yeah, not, not particularly happy with the... With what, at least one of the changes. Arcade, beginner, the duel. Well, let's go to arcade. Which, again, if I were playing this in the arcade, I would have access to infinite continue. Well, not infinite continues, but... If I was playing an emulated version of the arcade game, I could just sit there and throw more quarters in. Let's go with the Fire Woman. I like her. I like her big spell. Death Adder! Oh, hey, a Razor Mouse. Hey! I wasn't finished reading that! Fine! Found the magic button. What are the buttons? I just got an achievement for what are the buttons. I will bet that that... You know what? I want to go check that out now. I will bet that that achievement is for... Casting the magic... Yeah. Use magic when no enemies are present. What are the buttons achievement? I'll give you that one, Golden Axe. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's go back to the game. Ah! Ah! You know, again, the arcade version is better, obviously. You get more colors, more depth, higher resolution sprites and all that, because custom hardware and all that. But the Genesis version isn't that bad. This is an era where, you know, the arcade ports were what you could make of them. I mean, you know, it wasn't really until, like, PlayStation 2 era, maybe even a little bit beyond that, that the arcade ports, the home ports, became... Could you get back here, you little shit? That the home ports really did become arcade quality. Even PlayStation 1 isn't quite there. Close, I mean... Actually, no, some of those PlayStation 1 era stuff is. N64, PlayStation 1 era. Stuff like Gauntlet Legends... Yeah, that's that's pretty much spot on, quality wise. Oh, don't you dare! Get away from my get away from my thing! No, no! I'm bad at video games. But yeah, I'm really sad that this doesn't include the stuff from the Sonic Ultimate Gen Ultimate Collection, because I want. Golden Axe Warriors, which was a Zelda clone back on the Mag Ma Maga Master System, and it was pretty good. Hey, what's up, Shark? This is actually pretty good for the 
compared to the arcade version. Yes, 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 that is very true. I am bad at video games. How you doing? We're just checking out the improvements to the uh, game here, bringing it up to what the new consoles are, or what the consoles are getting, and they've already broken something. Ah, let's go ahead and use magic. It's only level two, but it'll work. Burn, baby, burn. Whoops. Ah, I am sweltering hot here. I'm only going to play this until I game over, which, as you can see, is not going to take long. Come at me, bro. Yeah! So you're going to run over and steal nothing, because I don't have anything. Ah, yeah. Our sworn enemy is in his castle. We'll take the shortcut through Turtle Village. <laughs> yes, Commander Baby. That was freaking glorious. I love that. I, I couldn't get close enough to him to actually do the second part of that. So it just keeps missing it. Oh, you haven't if you haven't seen that one, Shark. It was beautiful. Capcom arcade game, Captain Commando. One of the characters you could play was the baby, and it was glorious. So you had a baby in a robot who could get in a bigger robot. Oh, arcade games just don't have that kind of fun anymore. Why are you wasting the magic instead of using the big spells? Because I'm not sticking around long enough to use the big spells. And you know, as much as I do say the 16-bit era didn't really have that much on arcade emulation games or arcade games, um... Freaking Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo is amazing. I mean, it isn't quite as good as the arcade, but it is so close. It's by far my best ver my favorite version of it. And I have I have an emulated arcade version of it on Steam, and I would rather play the Super Nintendo version because it actually is better. Because you can actually get one of the secrets you can't get in the emulated version. Because in the emulated version, the start button brings up the emulator menu. Well, that means that you can't get one of the characters that you needed to hit the start button to get. You can't do one of the secret characters. Dead Island by yourself. Uh, that is one of the games that I will play at some point, Dead Island. All right, let's go ahead and play some Echo for a, just a little bit. Again, at this point, I'm just playing a couple of these games to check them out. I've already shown pretty much everything I wanted to show in this. The fact that it's got the expanded bedroom, that it has the achievements now, that it has... It's supposed to have extra options. Didn't really see many of the extra options here. The extra... Yeah, whoop. Nope, don't have a code. So we'll go the other way. I don't really have... Their, I wanted to see the extra ROMs. Didn't work. Talk to me! Marks in your head look like the stars in the sky. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you just sit here, have some fun. Whee! Oh no, I jumped too high! Now everyone's dead! So if, if you actually do like the Genesis games, and you don't already have some of them, 
they put the entire bundle up for 30 as opposed to 60 what it which had it had used to be it had used to been I don't know but it was before now though because I already have some of the games including you know the more expensive ones the Sonic games I don't really I don't even really want to spend 30 because it doesn't give you a discount for ones that you already had all right I should quit screwing around and just go Eh, more dolphins. Well, I guess we're good now. Don't really care about my friends. There's more dolphins here. We're good. Whoa! That one tried to hit me. Talk to me, Crystal. Search for the key glyph. I don't want to search for the key glyph. Jellyfish are mean, though. They sting me. See? They sting me. I don't like them. I need food. There's food. Food! Fish food. Get back here. Fish fish. Fish! Nom nom. Eat the fish. Some air. This is a. I really do like this game. It's a great concept for a game. One that you don't really see very much. There was a Dreamcast version as well. Tides of Time. I think it was Tides of Time was the Dreamcast one. A beautiful game on the Dreamcast. It really was. Like there's a, it, actually I think Tides of Time is a sequel on Genesis. There's there is the second one. There's all Echo Junior as well. I'm really kind of surprised that more places didn't make games like this. I mean, come on, man! Playing playing as a dolphin is cool. Air. Ow. Oh, spikes. Spikes are bad. Turn around. Dolphin. And again, I'm not going to be playing this game that much. I'm just... Ow. Ow. Just kind of giving a sampler of it. I like this game. I'm not particularly good at it. It's honestly an adventure game. You know, kind of like the old point and click style, except it's obviously not point and click. But at the end of the day, that's what this is. It's just another adventure game. Ow! And it's a good one at that. Oh, hi there. Talk to me, whale. I speak whale. Thank you. Perhaps the big blue will help you. So I gotta find a blue whale now. You must travel past the under caves to find him. Yes, thank you. Okay, well, there we go. So that one didn't want to talk to me, but I touched it. I can now hopefully break through the thing. Yeah, well, dolphins are bastards. I expect orcas to be the same. Ow. 
Ow. Seriously, everyone thinks dolphins are all cute and cuddly. They're 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 evil little bastards. They can be dangerous to divers. They really can. Oh, that's not the cave I wanted. Oh, now he's complaining he's running out of air. All right, fine. Let's go up and get some air for you. All right, where the hell am I going? There we go. That got rid of it. And away! Undersea caves. I got a actually password here. Deep maze of caverns with no surface to the dry inside. Songs of the sea. A scene of great danger in this place. They call him Flipper. Flipper. Faster than lightning. Ah! Spikes! Spikes everywhere! My Hadouken is not working! Ow! I can't even hit those! I'm gonna die underwater! Uh-oh. I actually am gonna die down here. I'll get some air soon. Or some food. Oh, I can never go back! Uh-oh. Figure out the way forward or die. There's air. I see air. Can I get to the air? Can I get to the air? Now I need life. Can I get some life? Come on. There we go. What do you want from me? Swim slowly past the eight arms. I think you're supposed to hit that thing when it was still in the air. Oh, ow, ow. Ah, so many puffer fish. There's a key at least. I hate that it doesn't really give you any distinction between the key things. And, oh, I'm going to die. And the ones that give you help and advice. Uh, dead. All right, well, he's dead. Echo died. He was killed by a puffer fish. Poor dolphin. They ate his body and moved on. I mean, as you can see, I don't have anywhere near all the games. <laughs> room settings. All you can really do with the room settings is change the time of day. Whee! Now it's dark out. Now it's daytime again. That, that really is about it. Alright. Audio settings. What do I got here? Just the volume. I wish the extras had added some like credit or not credits, but um anything really. Library of artwork, manuals, 
That'd be a nice thing to have is the freaking game manuals just have scans of the original manual. How hard is that? Come on. Um, I think I've heard of that one, but I haven't played it. This war of mine. I do like that it has the online multiplayer now. You can invite friends, matchmaking. That's very handy. Let's get the input options. I don't know why the online multiplayer is a speaker. Oh, it's the telephone. I don't know why you have the off-the-hook telephone for it, but... And again, there are far more games than this. There's some good classics there. Yeah, you could, you could absolutely... Play multiplayer, have someone else be Tails in Sonic 3. You could have them... Streets of Rage is a great one that you can have two players just going at it with. Let's get out of that because it doesn't work. Um, multiplayer, Golden Axe, etc., etc. Let's check out this game ground. Since I did say I hadn't seen this. Let's find out what type of game this is. Oh, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. It's going to mess with my encoding. Wait, one player, two player, see? Oh, that looks that looks terrible. It really does. Oh, God, now it's full screen. Why? What is this? Oh, okay. I don't even get to, like, throw it harder or anything. It just does that. I have a knight now. The arrows go longer than my spear does, so... There's that. That one's gone. That one's gone. Yeah, y'all! <laughs> yeah, the knight doesn't really seem to be doing very much, does he? So what, what is this? Alright. I now have a gun! I'm fighting guys with bows and arrows, and I have a gun. Makes perfect sense. No! I am dead! Um, okay... I mean, I couldn't really hit him. That, that'll that actually throw over the rocks. All right, the gun didn't. This is gain ground, and I am very confused by it. I'm just going to keep throwing... I'm just going to keep throwing spears. Because of the fact that I can actually throw this in any direction, it seems to be the most effective weapon. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. I can throw it up there, too. Ah! Yeah, okay, this thing's way better. Hold on, I have two enemies left. Where? Oh, okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've only got my grenade woman left, apparently. The other two are already dead. And now we're all dead. 
All right, well, that's a game. That is a game that exists. Not every game is a classic. Let's see what Crackdown is. I'm only going to be going... For, I'm not going to be going that much longer. Basically, at this point, I'm waiting to see... Till the top of the hour, I'll go check out Humble Bundle. Artificial Life Systems was created at the beginning of the 21st century. Do you guys remember that? It was about five years ago it happened. Mm -hmm. An evil leader guides them in their quest to conquer the world. Steve Jobs. Except he's dead now. The federal government. Only the one federal government, though. Not the rest. This is a worldwide thing. But only one federal government was involved. Destroy the facility using a bomb. Okay, then. Oh, this game. I've seen this game. Oh, this is awful. And down. Limited number of guns. Plant the bomb there. Found another bomb. Planted it. Got to find another bomb now. Or just, you know, keep getting shot. That's fine. Okay, mission accomplished. Escape. Oh, I needed 150 on the clock. Got to do that again. Oops. Reset. And try... Why did you take the cartridge out to reset? Seriously, game. Hit ready, Ben! Alright, I'm going to try to get that under 150. Or more than 150 on the clock. We're going to do it! That was the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. What? what how, where was the gun? Here's the gun. Oh, I can actually squeeze up against the wall. Okay. Ben four. Well, that wasn't hard at all! I didn't get the thing for it. Oh, does that have to be Act 2 or 3 that it happens in? Yeah, I gotta squeeze up against the wall when that happens. Okay. Oh, man. They got these soldiers inside of boxes. Can you imagine? Ready, Ben! Let's get out of here. Hurry. Yay! <laughs> you mean Dover, not over. Can't even get your own joke right, man. Also, he cannot swim. Okay, we have learned something very valuable today. Ben cannot swim. Gun. Oh, God, I have no gun left. All right, well, that's a thing. What was my extra on that? Yeah, I had to beat the third level, not the first level with that time. Oof. I mean, it can be done. Most of these, these achievements are going to be like the ones in Ultimate Sega or Sonic's Ultimate Collection, where they're really simple, stupid, easy to do, 
just it, it's more of going down a checklist than it is actually doing anything challenging for the most part. The hardest one in that collection was the Robotnik's Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine one. And Xanth beat it without even looking at the game when he did it. So he, he looked at me, was talking to me, because I was there when it happened. We look back at the screen, both of us. He's got the achievement, he's finished level, he didn't even know how. Like, a piece dropped on its own and beat the thing. That frustrated me, because it took me a while to get that one. And he got it accidentally. And at least in that one, when you did the achievements, you unlocked... things. Extra games, specifically. More importantly. You got a chance to have the arcade games, the Master System games, or, yeah, Master System. Which, you know, Genesis is fine and all, but I loved that it had the other options in that Ultimate Collection. Whereas, you know, the PC version here, that's certainly not going to. I mean, you see all the games that are in it here. When you take a look at the store, I'm going to go look at the store page, I'm going to read off what all is in it here? You've got Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, Alien Soldier, Alien Storm, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis. That's a fun one. Beyond Oasis is, again, a kind of Zelda-ish RPG. Biohazard Battle, Bonanza, er, Bonanza Bros, Columns, Columns 3, Comic Zone, Crack Town, Decap Attack, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Dynamite Heady, Echo the Dolphin, Echo Jr., Echo the Tides of Time. So yeah, the Dreamcast one has a different name and I forgot what it is. E-SWAT, City Under Siege, Eternal Champions, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky. Yeah, again, you should recognize that one because the Flickies were used in Sonic 3D Blast. Gain Ground, Galaxy Force 2, Golden Axe 3 comes before Golden Axe Trademark, and Golden Axe Trademark 2. Well done. Ugh. Gunstar Heroes, Kid Chameleon, Landstalker, the Treasures of, the, treasures of No... Uh, let me try that one again. Landstalker, the Treasures of King Noel. Noel. Mm -hmm. Light Crusader, Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star 3, Generations of Doom, Fantasy Star 4, End of the Millennium. So, you know, about 18 years ago. Rystar, Shadow Dancer, Shining Force, Shining Force 2, Shining in the Darkness, Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Again, that one is not available in the console versions from what I've heard. Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic CD, which is its own program, not launched from this. It's the updated version that I played. Why it's included on this list, I don't know. But basically, they're giving you this game for free for buying it, which, hey, more power to you. You save five bucks. Sonic Spinball, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Space Harriers 2, Streets of Rage, Streets of Rage 2, Streets of Rage 3, Super Thunderblade, Sword of Vermilion, The Revenge of Shinobi, so that's one that I've got the poster for, but I don't have the game. Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl in Panic and Funkatron. Vector Man 2. Vector Man Trademark. So get him, getting them out of alphabetical order because of that. Virtua Fighter 2. Wonder Boy 3 Monster Lair and Wonder Boy in Monster Worlds. So it's a good selection of games. There's quite a lot of them for $30 when they're trying to sell them all individually for 3 or 5 for the popular ones. Like, Toe Jam and Earl are five bucks each. The, the Sonic games are five bucks each. And yet you can get Fantasy Star for three bucks. The hell. No, because it's not as popular. Well, it should be. <laughs> and I love this, too. They still have the old upgrade, the old update up here of interactive 3D room UI. Local co-op. Both of those have been changed. So it's now got the 3D room with, you know, VR support, and the local co-op also has online allowed. And I like to say, local co-op. 
None of these games are competitive? Like, oh, say, Sonic 2's Versus Mode? Or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? I guess you can't play Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine co-op. Or, I mean, multiplayer, because it's only co-op. And that one's Versus. Yeah, see, you gotta be careful with things like that. At any rate, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at Humble Bundle before I log off for the day and that I've finished making fun of this. Did they make a new bundle today? Let's see. Oh, yes. Arma. Arma 2018 bundle. So you can get Arma Cold War Assault, Arma Gold Edition, and Arma Tactics for a dollar. Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead, British Armed Forces, Private Military Company, and Army of the Czech Republic for beating the average. And for 15, you can get Arma 3, Arma 3 Carts, Helicopters, and Marksmen. And if you pay 20, you can get Arma 3 Apex. Um, they've done Arma bundles so often that I already have almost all of these, so it's not really for me. And if you've done Humble Bundles for a while, you probably have these as well. It's like, yeah, here's Arma 2, da -da, Operation Arrowhead, Cold War Assault, Gold, DayZ mod. I don't... Do I not have Arma 3? I guess I don't have Arma 3. But, yeah, I mean, there, if you don't have Arma... And you've been interested in it. They're more realistic focused military first person shooters, and yet the one has cards in it, so yeah. <laughs> take that for what you will. <laughs> Arma cart. I wonder if it has banana peels. But yeah, they're meant to be more more reality focused. They're not. I mean, they're more than the arcade shooters that are out there, but they're still first-person shooters, and there's still plenty of arcade action in them. Let's be honest. But hey, if they're if they look interesting to you, there's the bundle right now. I'd say go for it if they're interesting. If you don't have them and you are interested, there's no reason to just drop it on the big one and get everything. So yeah, there you go. That's the update to the Genesis collection and it doesn't work. They updated it and one of the big features that I really wanted to check out and I don't know which games have the multiple um blah, words. The only game I have that has the other region is Streets of Rage 2 which again oh yeah it's more real than COD or Battlefield absolutely. But uh, other than Streets of Rage 2 I don't have any that has the other ROMs, and it doesn't work anyway. So well, well done, Sega. All these, all these pixel scannings were here before. So you can do bilinear. I, I like none, but as you can see that picture up there, you can blur the screen if you want. Like if you don't like having the really sharp edges, if that doesn't look good to you, if you want a fake higher resolution by making it blurry like this, you can. I don't. I think that blurry looks blurry to me. So I do that. You can put in scan lines, that's always fun. You can have the screen get all tilty. You can mirror mode, you can I like that you can disable the sprite limit. That's one of the things this is an effort to make the emulator better than the hardware. And I approve of this, even though it says down there it can cause other problems. Because, especially like for NES, which, you know, this is Sega Genesis, so it's not quite the same thing. But on the NES, some games actually use the slowdown and the sprite limit as part of the game. So if you manage to turn those off, it would screw it up. But I still like having the option for the games that it wouldn't. Oh well. So yeah, there we go. That's Sonic the that's Sonic the Hedgehog. That's the new Genesis collection. This is the one that will be on the consoles. It's gonna have a larger library than what I've got, obviously, but I read off the list of the games. If you're a fan of Genesis and you don't have this yet, it's $30. Personally, I'm going to wait for the summer sale. 
because I've already got some of the games on here, I'd rather wait and see if it drops on sale. Even if it goes down to like 15, I'd like to get a little bit of a discount on it still. But hey, I mean, it's you like Genesis games and don't just want to download them yourself for free because that's illegal. There you go. Well, I'm going to be gone for a couple days, as usual. My, quote, weekend, unquote, is coming up Wednesday, Thursday. When I get back, and this is one of the things I did not want to start it today. When I get back, I'm going to be playing that Neopets PS2 game, The Darkest Fairy. We're going to see just how bad it is. I'm expecting it to be trash. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, and it'll actually be halfway decent. But coming from Neopets, I'm expecting this game to be utter garbage. So we'll see. Until then, Internet, take care. Enjoy the games you play.